That's because atheism is a myth, right? <laughs> and not in the sense I usually use myth. In the bad sense, in the in way the they use it. I'm not really existing because every atheist is dragging around the dead body of the God he doesn't believe in. Yeah. Behind him, right? Because a negation can't exist. There's there's a, a joke from an old movie that uh, Slavoj Žižek, of all people, uses to illustrate this, that a negation can't exist, where uh, a guy is in a restaurant and he says to the waiter, uh, can you bring me a cup of coffee, uh, sugar, but uh, hold the cream? And the waiter comes back a few minutes later and says, I'm sorry, sir, we don't have any cream. Can we hold the milk instead? <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> so to, to have no cream, right, you have to have cream. Exactly. Negation can't exist without the thing it's negating. No, you're, I, I think you're so right. That's something that I've been kind of pointing to. I did a, a video on this, this like weird kind of, on WandaVision and the Montero video, like this kind of weird satanic moment. Um, and I also did one on the inverted pentagram talking about this, how in fact, these kind of satanic tropes are this strange dark mirror that ultimately will reflect back to God, even if it's not in their will to do that, even if they're doing it despite themselves, it ends up bringing back the image of God, even, you know, because like you said, the negation can't have, doesn't have, can't exist. It, it always is pointing to its, the, and, the, the, the parasite needs its host, you know, you can't, the parasite can try to feed up its host, but at the, in the end, it has to reaffirm the host or else it's going to die itself. Can't live without the host. Yeah. And, and so there's no sort of secular, there's no sort of neutral, there's no sort of bare bones while well, we've stripped away all of the, <laughs> you know, or banished any kind of meaning or spiritual significance to this place, person, thing, idea, right? It's Yeah, it would cease to exist. It would have to just cease, completely cease to exist for you to banish any form of, of sacred from, from a person or for, from anything, because it's, that's the actual shape of how it exists. Is the, the, it's the, the actual pattern of how it's there and how you even notice it out of the millions of things you, you don't notice, you know, it's because it has, a, it has the same pattern as the, this little holy place, you know, where you see things come together and, and are in communion, uh, you know, in communion into something, so. Yeah, and that's been probably the hardest nut to crack on Lord of Spirits <laughs> has been people's idea that existing means, you know, this mug exists because I can bang on it, mm. you know, like I can, <laughs> right? It has physicality to it, that means it exists, as opposed to existence meaning it has an order. Mm and a form and so yeah. the opposite being chaos not an imaginary void or whatever it is that they think yeah yeah i mean literally the the words uh that that get translated as nothingness or non-existence in english usually in greek is uh tomion right which literally means that which isn't being Mm. Being is a verb there. It's a participle. So it's that which is not doing the action of being or existing. So when people try to push back on me and say, well, no, look, see, there's nothingness in the ancient world. I say, okay, what's that? What's the pronoun referring to? <laughs> right? Because a pronoun has a referent, right? Yeah. And, and so that referent is chaos right that reference or prime matter or pure becoming depending yeah. on your ancient philosopher however you want to yeah the only nothing you could say the only nothing and and this is going to sound weird to people but the only nothing is god in the sense of that he's not a thing right and, and so not an object of the world right and so when we say that god created out of nothing we don't mean that there was this nothing that was there <laughs> that god created out of it just means that 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 god is the origin of all and the origin of chaos even like the origin of all possibility and of all actuality is in this infinite no thing no uh, beyond being whatever you you know going up straight into uh, Dionysus the Areopagite you know trying to find words for things that can't be named but but that's really the only thing that is really nothing in the in the, in the strict yeah. sense let's say I, I like the way Saint John Chrysostom phrases it in his anaphora because he talks about God bringing all things 
things. Mm. So bearing or carrying the moving all things from that which is not being to being. Mm. So then you really have this idea of moving from potentiality into actuality. Or right. And of causation. Yeah. Right. Of causation. Right. Yeah. And putting and being the one who puts things in order. Mm. Yeah, that makes a lot, that makes definitely makes a lot of sense in terms of understanding. Mm.